Hey my friend, I'm Lindsay Mueller, a children's folk singer songwriter, and today I'm gonna to give you seven tips that will help you with songwriting. I wanna start by answering a question from a follower on Instagram. Why write a song? What is the value in it? For me, songwriting is valuable because it helps me to spread a message. I wanna spread messages of love, joy, peace, and forgiveness throughout the world, and music is such a great way for me to do that. It's also valuable to me because it helps me to be creative, to express my feelings, to connect with others, and it's also really fun for me. If it feels like it might be fun for you too, that's really the only reason that you need. So now that we've determined the why of writing a song, let's move on to the how. There's really lots of ways you can write a song, but here are the two main ways. Number one, you can start by creating the musical part of it, the melody or the tune or the harmony. You can start from there, create some lyrics, and then try to fit them together. Another way you can do it is to write the lyrics first and then come up with a tune or melody and harmony that goes with those lyrics. Sometimes when you write a song, the lyrics and the melody just come out at the same time. That's what happened with my song, I've Got Love. I was just walking down the street one day, I felt inspired, and I just started singing these words, and that's how it happened. So that's my first tip. Explore different ways of writing a song and see which one works for you. Sometimes both will work for you or another way. There's really so many ways you can do it, but if one hasn't worked for you, try another way. Tip number two is to get out of your head. Sometimes when we set out to write a song, we can be really scared that it won't be good. And you know what? It might not be good. And that's completely okay. You have to be bad at something for a while before you get good at it. I wrote a lot of songs that I consider bad before I started writing good songs. So just put those worries aside and have fun with it. The more you practice writing songs, the better you'll get at it, just like everything else. Tip number three is to start small. Sometimes we get caught up in what the structure of a song should be. Lots of songs that you hear on the radio go like this. Verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. And that's great, but it doesn't have to be like that. It can be just one verse or one chorus or a verse and a chorus. It really can be whatever you want it to be because you are the creator of the song. If you just end up creating one verse, that's perfect. I have three songs on my latest album that are really, really short and sweet and people still like them. Tip number four is to simplify. I feel like I got good at songwriting because I focused on writing songs for kids. I choose a main, simple message, write simple lyrics, choose simple chords, and write a simple melody. I didn't try to do anything fancy. I wasn't trying to impress kids with my musical skills because kids don't really care about that. Kids just want a song that's easy to follow, happy, and maybe even a little bit silly. So if you're struggling with songwriting, just try writing a song for kids. Who knows, you might end up writing the next Baby Shark. Tip number five is for you if you have trouble coming up with lyrics. My tip is to use something that already exists. Take a children's book, your favorite poem, a Bible verse, anything like that, and make it into a song. I did this with my song, The Family Song, which is based on The Family Book by Todd Parr. I literally just took the words of the book and made a new tune and chord progression, and voila, it became a song. Tip number six is to use a chord progression you've never used before. Think of your favorite songs, see what chords they use, fiddle around with them, and see if you can create a new tune or melody and lyrics, and then put them on top of those new chords. Tip number seven is to join a songwriting challenge. I have written some of my best songs that way, like Grateful Heart, Hi Hey Hello, and Kinder. My friend Stephanie Level from Music for Kiddos hosts songwriting challenges every year on her Instagram page, so go give her a follow and you can join the next one that she runs. She always gives great tips and direction for you to go in so you have a place to start. It's also really fun seeing what other people come up with and it's just a great way to get inspired. Before I go, I want to answer another question from an Instagram follower, which is, how do you write a song if you don't know how to read or write music? If you don't know how to read or write music like this, it's no problem. Believe it or not, many musicians don't know how to read or write music. All you really need to know is how to write lyrics and a melody. It is helpful if you know some basic music theory like chords, scales, chord progressions, things like that. But if you don't, it's not a big deal. Even if you can just write some lyrics and ask for a musical friend to help you put the tune and the harmony together, that's perfect too. That's what my friend Teacher Carly and I have done together and it's been so much fun creating songs together in this way. 
So remember, as long as you can think of new words and a new melody, you can write a song. If you have a songwriting tip to share or a question about songwriting, please leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to respond. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't heard my original songs yet, you can hear them right here on YouTube, on Spotify, or any of the streaming platforms, or my website, lindsaymuller.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.